It's 5.30, no, not even, it's like 10 past 5 in the morning. Today is the biggest day in all of Brunei. July 15th is His Majesty's birthday, uh, celebrated throughout Brunei in all four districts. Really an excuse to have a long holiday. Not for me, I got a call yesterday afternoon by my boss, my RTV boss, saying like, can you do a stand-upper in addition to your newsread? It's raining outside, RTV is just few minutes walk but I'm gonna take my car since I have quite a few things and might as well before the roads get blocked at close to six. But I get to go to the Istana, the palace thing. That's good. <laughs> I washed my hair. I'm wearing black. It is raining. Ah it's ruined now. Oh, shit. And just take that off the So yeah, it's July 15th. It's His Majesty's birthday. It's arguably the biggest celebrated event in all of Brunei. Today is the first day where it is celebrated in the heart of the of the country or the capital, Banasari Begawan. I'm on duty for a 7 a.m. news read, but in addition, I've got to cover an event um, at the Istana at the Palace where His Majesty resides some other national related event to that where they're giving away medals to uh, those who have performed well in the government and private sector but particularly the government sector so I'm literally just 30 seconds away from RTB but you know as with that bits here everyone really takes the car so I've made my way inside RTB now raining cats and dogs outside and the parking lot was starting to get filled up even so early in the morning my hair is wet I'm, I'm waiting for the makeup people um, Fortunately, the rest of my stuff aren't wet, but I was in a rush that I forgot to change out my my slippers into my shoes, which I'll do. Probably some of you are wondering why we're wearing black. You know, in some cultures, black has some morbid meaning, but for us, um, it's a uniform in the morning events during His Majesty's birthday celebrations. In the evening, when they have the dinner and stuff, you wear all white, uh, which I won't be attending as I'm not invited, but that's okay. It's 6.45 a.m. in the morning. We had quite a few people to make up and I have to read the news in 15 minutes. I gotta rush back down after this, get my makeup finished, my tudong, and then head off to the palace. I don't even know how tired I am, um, which is good. It's good to just keep busy. I'll probably crash later tonight. The morning will probably be like, what? You know, for half the population, if not more, they don't even realize what's happening, They're probably sleeping in, probably waking up to their coffee. By that time, I'll probably be like done with like three tasks, three work tasks. So it's amazing how the world turns sometimes. Um, not a bad thing. I'm always grateful. Um, yep. See you guys later. And Yang Dipertuan of Brunei Darussalam attends the Kashukran ceremony in conjunction with His Majesty's 71st birthday celebration. We're looking for angles for our reporting. So, this is my Malay newsreader, Ailey. Handsome, right? <laughs> Too bad he's taken. <laughs>
RTV to do more work but it, it was a good coverage it was my first experience you know like there's a lot of people involved when it comes to media and coverage basically just the front line delivering but I had to be here today you know to experience a different line you know, a different part of the line a different part of the process which is actually very lengthy so I learned to appreciate it back at RTV it's Crazy! It's noon. Everyone's excited. Just gonna wait maybe another hour while they finish my voiceover script. They're worried because it's not ready. I said it's okay. I understand. They gotta put it together and stuff. Hello. Hi. Hi. Like the newsreaders have to rush back. I can hear my colleague on the radio, but they still want to make sure they got the right information out and they want to hear it. So that's what they're doing. They're sitting by the radio. Sometimes they check the script or check back with the reader what happened. <laughs> this is our Chinese Mandarin uh, editor. Don't see her much. <laughs> but. I was gonna say my last few words on my GoPro but um, it ran out of battery appropriately and anyways I'm starting to look like crap so um, I won't be needed for the voiceover until a few more hours so they said I'm gonna take some rest um, and I'm fine with that. I haven't been home like since yesterday afternoon and I really want to at least just say hi to my family or kind of change out of these clothes so. I'm still playing around with this thing I love the experience I mean a lot of it may be waiting around but you know it requires a lot of patience and really really listening and and being committed and there is a bit of protocol to follow when it comes to these formal events national events especially in Brunei but it doesn't mean that it's any less challenging or hectic Got to see some very familiar faces that's another thing uh, i love about brunei you know people that you generally hear about and see on the news like ministers deputy ministers royal family they're just you know you can just catch them backstage or after the whole event which i did you know i'm headed home um if this day isn't ended it will later but in the meantime i'm gonna i'm gonna go take that rest i'm back here New center. Like I never left. Staring at my very, very good looking but old editors. Uh, good Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So she's very grateful. Actually, I'm turning old tomorrow, so what am I talking about? <laughs> Someone is celebrating her yeah. birthday tomorrow. Yeah. There's a serious moment. They're watching the news. Ahmadin bin Hadi Abdurrahman. Oh, Haji Rosli didn't pay him or Ankaya Shah Banda, Dato Si Paduka Haji Muhammad Saleh, Awang Muhammad Irwan bin Haji Hambali, Doctor Awang Haji Junaidi bin Haji Abdurrahman, Awang Haji Husaini Ahmad bin Haji Hussein, Her Excellency Dayo Haja Rakia bin Ti Haji Abdul Hamid, Elias Samit. <coughs> are conferred the Brunei Darussalam state decorations in conjunction of His Majesty's 71st birthday celebration. The tradition-filled no. ceremony further livens the joyous atmosphere of His Majesty's 71st birthday celebration. His Majesty and his tita, in conjunction with the monarch's 71st birthday celebration, expressed his gratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the country is able to celebrate his birthday in peace and prosperity. His Majesty Sultan and Yang Dipertuan of Brunei Darussalam has ruled the country for nearly 50 years. His Majesty's wise reign has brought progress and development through the various policies which always take into account the well-being, prosperity and security of the people and the nation. Now in the Tita a short while ago, His Majesty outlined a number of main issues related to economy, security and education. It's our duty and responsibility as the citizens and residents living in this beloved land called Brunei Darussalam. Daulat Kabawah Duli Tuan Patik. Malini Jani reporting for RTP News. His Majesty the Sultan and Yandipur Darussalam and Her Majesty the Sultan and Yandipur Darussalam.